Hi people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kalia and today's video I'm going to be telling you guys my June current favorites. Kind of like stuff that I've been into this past month because I thought this would be an interesting video idea and do this a few months later and see how much I've changed and you guys can know about more about my personality based on things that I like. So I was going to write it all down on my clipboard that I usually have but today I have it on my laptop. So if you see me working down on my laptop, you know why. Now, the first book obviously is The Outsiders. I've been reading this, and it's a really good book. And I got it like a few months ago after my around, not after my birthday, kind of like around my birthday. And I've been reading that book a lot, but I haven't read it in a few days. But I've been reading that book, it's one of my favorite books. I read it when I was like seventh grade, eighth grade. No, I think I was in seventh grade. And we read that book for class and we watched the movie we never got to finish it but i was watching the movie and it's such a good movie um the outsiders is such a good book and yeah that is really it brings back a lot of memories in middle school then we have the four agreements now i didn't read the book i read the, i listened to the audiobook and the audiobook's like 30 minutes long i'll leave it down below everything that i'm talking about in this video will be linked down below so i i listened to the audiobook and it has a lot of useful information in it so check that out like you should totally read it if you're into excuse the truck outside there's amazon truck done as i was saying there's this book the four agreements and i've been reading it and one of my favorite YouTubers recommended it, and I saw the audiobook, and I just started reading, or listening to it rather, and it was really interesting read. I read it while I was washing the dishes, and it was really interesting. It talks about um, agreements that you have with yourself, and how you set up an agreement based on things that you say about yourself. It's a really interesting read. Um, I'm not going to talk too much in depth about it, because I would want you to experience it for yourself, but if you're into like spirituality and things like that, totally check it out. Then we have my journal. Now I'll probably show you guys in a little clip or whatever, but I have my journal and I've been using this journal for a long time. I got it for Christmas like a few years ago when I finally decided to use it now. Like I used to journal my thoughts, I used to journal random video ideas that might pop in my head. I just use it to journal my um, daily things that I like to write down. So yeah, those will go for books and audiobooks. The thing, this is like the longest list because I listen to a lot of music, I watch a decent amount of TV, but most of the time I'm on YouTube. I'm pretty sure I'm on YouTube like 78% of the time, but I'm on TikTok like the other 25%, 80%, yeah 25%. So okay, so first for music, we're going to go into songs, and then we're going to go into albums, and then we're going to go into TV shows. So for songs, I've been listening to Likey, like Likey, Lit, 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 Lie a little bit. I'm pretty sure I just butchered their name. So I am so sorry, but I've been listening to a little bit by Likey, Lit, Lie. This person wrote a song for Twilight. It's a possibility song. I'm not going to sing it because I know. But it's a possibility song. So if you're into Twilight and you know exactly what the song I'm talking about, that person created that other song. It's popular on TikTok. You might know what it is. Then we have MGMT Little Dark Ages. I love that song. I have to listen to it like once a week. I love that song. It's such a good song. I've been trying to find songs like that. So if you know any other songs or music artists that sound like MGMT and sound like the song Little Dark Ages, please let me know because I've been trying to find that sound in a, in a different song and I cannot. So. Now we have Blue Jetta Home. Now, is that, it's probably like a copyright free song, but it sounds like the 80s. It sounds like something that would be a Stranger Things. I love it. It sounds like Stranger Things. By the way, I'm ready for Stranger Things season four. I'm super excited. Anyways, moving on, we have Hers. What, what was, RIP to Hers. Hers was a group of two, um, Dude, I forgot two guys, I forgot their names, but they were in a group, and after doing research about them, I found that they both died in a car crash going to their concert, I think in Arizona, and it was really sad, and, like, they weren't, they weren't that big yet, they were like, 
semi kind of big, but not like big, big, you know what I mean? So they're like smaller artists and their music is really good and I like listening to their songs, specifically this one. Now we have Selena, not Selena Gomez, but Selena. I'm gonna kind of butcher this. I'm gonna kind of butcher this. Okay, ready for me to butcher this name? Do me kind of maths? I, I told you I probably butchered that. But yes, I've been listening to a lot of Selena because I was watching the Selena series. And because I watched the movie and I was going through the book by Chris Perez, which talks about Selena, and I was watching the series. The series wasn't that good or what I expected it to be. Because when you watch the movie and you watch the other Selena series, I think there's another one. Was there? Am I going crazy or was there another Selena series? Wow, I'm here. Let me see. I think there was another Selena series. I think there was another Selena series. There was the movie and there was another series before they made the one for Netflix. Am I correct? Hold on. Let me, um... They made the Selena movie from 19, yeah, they did the Selena movie with J-Lo, right? And then they did, they did the Selena series from the girl, um, I totally forgot her name, hold on. Um, they, oh yeah, her name is Christiana Serratos. She was in Twilight. I didn't know that until I was researching and I was like, she's from Twilight. She is, um, Japanese, what's her name? Um, she's the girl with the glasses, uh, I totally forgot her name. She was like Bella's friend and she looks so different now, so like, wow. Anyways, I've been listening to a lot of Selena after watching the series, Yolanda the Salvador, whatever her name is at this point, Salvador. Fleetwood Mac everywhere. I've been listening to Fleetwood Mac. I love Fleetwood Mac. Um, I love their music. I don't listen to music a lot, but I do. And sometimes I feel like dressing like Misty Day or Stevie Nicks. But anyways, next we have albums. I only have two albums I've been listening to. I've been listening to Olivia Rodrigo's Sour. I think everybody has. Her music is... This album has a good mixture of angsty teen music to like soft and calm music to just like I don't really care type of vibe. So I love that album. One of my favorite songs from that album is Brutal, Good For You obviously, and Enough For You. I love that song. Um, then we have Labreath. I have listened to Labreath. I think I said that right. I hope I did. I have listened to the Euphoria soundtrack because I'm ready for season 2. Sindaya posted um a video or like a little snippet of the trailer for euphoria season two and that just put me back to that euphoria mood so i did be listening to my first soundtrack i love mount ever mount everest that's one of my favorite songs i don't think that's on the soundtrack but if it is i love the album it's one of my favorites i i can't even the album one of my favorites i can't wait for season two of euphoria y'all jules looks so cool Anyways, moving on. Now we have TV shows. Now I don't watch a lot of TV like I used to. I'm mostly doing YouTube research, researching in general, working on the blog, and just playing my Xbox or just sleeping. So, or I'm on TikTok. Anyways, I've been watching The Vampire Diaries, but I've been taking a break from that. I've been watching Generation, um, with a X Generation Plus or Generation with a you know what I'm talking about, if you've seen it. It's kind of like Euphoria, but not Euphoria. That show is a hot mess. I, I started on episode one. I saw one of my favorite YouTubers react to it, and I was like, ooh, I might have to watch it. It's like a teen show, and that show is something else. Um, the guy who's in it, he was in the movie Everything, and that's why I wanted to watch it. So Justin's doing a good job. I think his name is Justin or Justice. He's doing a good job. I mean, they're doing a good job. They're doing a good job. And then we have Jersey Shore. Okay, look, hear me out. I know Jersey Shore is like this bad, cringy reality television show. I know. But that's my thing. 
I watch Love and Hip Hop. I used to watch a lot of cringy reality shows. And I've been watching it because I wanted to see what it was about. Just like I watched The Bad Girl Club a few weeks ago. Because <laughs> I've been watching it because I've been thinking about when I was younger and I used to watch it. Don't ask. But yes, I've been watching Jersey Shore. I think it was like episode four. Because I wanted to see what kids were watching when I was like, it came out 2009, right? So I was born in 2004. It's like five years old? No. Wait, yeah, I was like five, four, five years old. So I barely remember much at that time. So I wanted to see what kids or teenagers were watching when I was like tiny. So yeah, Zoe 101. Now, I've been re watching Zoe 101 just for the system. The, the, the nostalgia feeling plus i wanted to see and look at it from a perspective of a 17 year old rather than a 10 year old because i've been watching a lot of sloan videos and if you don't know who sloan is he's one of my favorite youtubers i was in like down below he talks a lot about different cases and like child actors and what happened to them behind the scenes things like that he does a really good job of explaining it and providing evidence and things like that he's one of my favorite youtubers he's so kind he's super sweet and you guys should really check him out um he was talking about Zoe 101 and like a lot of Dan Schneider shows and he was talking about how he makes a lot of jokes in them a lot of um I don't know if I can say this word without YouTube trying to take down my videos but he's been saying a lot of um Dan Schneider did a lot of things like how can I say this without like, making children look like adults and putting children in adult situations and things like that and do and stuff like that and you can tell once you watch the show again so I've been watching it for the evidence of that just to be like he did do that and I didn't even realize it so yeah that's why I've been watching it and side note, while we're stuck on movies and television, has anybody seen the new iCarly series? I watched the first three episodes and they were pretty good. They had a few little jokes in there and honestly, I could see Carly and Freddie getting together at the end of the iCarly season of New Revival. I could see the chemistry. I can see it. Skincare is very important to me. Says the person who yesterday forgot to wash her face and had to do it this morning. Um, so skincare is very important to me, and I like skincare. Like I take a lot of pride in drinking water most of the time and doing things like that. So we have I've been using my Cetaphil face bar. They last a very long time. Like I got like three of them, and that was months ago. Like here's our two, three of them was it i think it was like may no i feel like april may ish close to that and they have last for a very very long time and i still have one and this is really good for your face but yes i'm gonna use the nose instead of the bottle because the bottle like it it runs out quickly so that's why i'm using the bar here we have the English clay mask i actually used that in my other video which is the diy skincare video which you guys should totally check out by the way that's my first time doing a DIY video, and I thought I did pretty good. So yeah, I used that for my face. I have to have a face mask in like a, a week, so I'm probably going to do one soon. But yes, I need a clay mask. I was just giving my face a break from all the face mask I did a few weeks ago. Yes. And then I've been using Avino's um, Pulling Body Wash Stress Relief Lavender Stress Relief Body Wash. I like that one. I like using like natural, like Avino's lavender like natural scents but like i can't explain it but i like using stuff that's more natural and like stuff that don't have a lot of like scents in it so like you know, soap you know lavender that's probably the only scents that i really use and vanilla how about it my sister she's the one who likes to use strawberries and blossoms and all that and i'm not and then I've been using the Vino Daily Moisturizing Lotion for my face because my face could get not too dry but like dry and I ain't when my face goes dry, I ain't when any part of my body goes dry. It just, it's just it's so weird. I don't know how to explain it. It's just so weird. Yeah, that's all the stuff I've been using so far as my 
current favorites. Let me know what you guys' current favorites were for this month. I know this video was quite long and it was just me talking, but hopefully the visuals will keep you guys awake. <laughs> But yes, I can't wait to not wait for next week's video because next week's video I'm going to be doing a vlog type of style video because I haven't done one in forever. And that one is going to be a day in the life as a YouTuber or something like that. And you guys are going to see me work behind the scenes and doing YouTube videos and doing a vlog because I feel like it'll be interesting for you guys to see the behind the scenes. And if I film it and I get to show you guys, you might, might like it and might inspire you to start your own channel. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. And... If you guys like this video, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because I've been working on my analytics and I noticed that a lot of you guys who've been watching my videos have not been subscribing and I get that because it takes a minute for me to subscribe to somebody after watching your favorite videos. Completely understand. But if you like my videos and you like seeing me ramble about random stuff and like my videos, subscribe. I make random videos. I make fashion videos, lifestyle videos positive videos I guess and productivity videos so subscribe if you want to see more of that but anyways thank you guys so much for watching the video and I'll see you guys next week now I'm gonna go edit this video eat snacks finish researching for my other video and watch Love Victor because I still have yet to watch Love Victor season 2 I've been busy so yeah bye everyone and I'll see you guys next week